Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how to buy and set up a hosting or VPS in 2025, even if you're a complete beginner. Whether you're launching a website, running an app, hosting a panel, or building a project that needs more power than shared hosting, VPS is the perfect upgrade. This is a full beginner-friendly tutorial, and by the end of this video, you'll know exactly. How to choose the right Hostinger VPS. How to buy it. How to log in. How to connect using SSH. How to install your panel or project. How to secure the server. How to manage backups and monitoring. So let's jump right into it. 1. What is a Hostinger VPS? Before buying anything, you need to understand what VPS means. VPS stands for Virtual Private Server, and unlike shared hosting, you get dedicated RAM, dedicated CPU power, full root access, ability to install any software, much better performance, more security and control. This means you can run websites, apps, game servers, panels, CyberPanel, Hestia, AA Panel, API servers, scripts, custom backend systems, bot servers, AI tools, basically anything you want, which shared hosting cannot do. Hosting or VPS is great because it's fast, it's cheap, it's easy for beginners, it has strong customer support. Now let's go buy one step by step. Two. Choosing the right VPS plan. Go to hostinger.com and click VPS Hosting. You'll see several plans, VPS1, VPS2, VPS3, and so on. Here's a simple guide. VPS1, best for small website, one to two apps, school college projects, testing, low traffic. VPS2, best for Medium size website, 5 to 20,000 daily visitors, light game servers, small SaaS tools. VPS3, VPS4, best for 20,000 to 100,000 daily visitors, heavy backend apps, multiple websites, API systems, e commerce projects. VPS8, high level, best for enterprise projects, high traffic apps, anything that needs big performance. Most beginners should choose VPS1 or VPS2. They're cheap and powerful enough for learning and launching your project. Select a plan based on your needs and click Select. 3. How to buy the VPS. Now Hostinger will ask for email, password, payment method, card, PayPal, or local options. Choose any payment method and proceed. Important tip, Hostinger gives max discount on 12-month or 24-month plans. Once payment is done, click Start Setup. Your VPS is now created, but not yet ready to use. Time to configure it. 4. Choosing the operating system. Hostinger will now ask, Select OS template. For beginners, choose Ubuntu 22.04, recommended, or Debian 12. Do not choose CentOS or Rocky unless you know advanced server configuration. Ubuntu is easy, stable, and supported by most tutorials. Select Ubuntu, confirm. Hostinger will install the OS automatically. This usually takes 20 to 30 seconds. 5. Accessing the VPS, SSH Login This is the most important part for beginners. You will now see IP address, username, root, password, or SSH key if selected. To log in, on Windows, install PuTTY. Paste the VPS IP, enter root username, enter password. On Mac, Linux, open terminal type. SSH, root at your IPH, then press enter. It will ask for the password, paste it, press enter. Congrats, you are now inside your VPS. 
Everything you do now is full control, just like a real server. 6. First Steps After Login Before doing anything, update the server. apt update and apt upgrade dash y. This check mark updates security check mark installs latest packages check mark fixes vulnerabilities check mark makes VPS stable. Now install basic tools apt install nano htop zip unzip dash y. These tools help you edit files, monitor CPU, and manage folders. 7. Installing a control panel If you're a beginner, installing a panel makes everything easy. Recommended panels 1. Cyber Panel Beginner-friendly Supports Websites, Databases, Emails, SSL, File Manager, WordPress Installer Install CyberPanel, shcyberpanel.sh slash install.sh. Then open http colon slash slash uorr dash ip colon 8090. AA Panel, super easy. Clean UI, perfect for beginners. Install AA Panel. Then open http colon slash slash uorr dash cp 888. Hestia CP, fast plus lightweight, best for speed. 8. Hosting a website or app. Once the panel is installed, add domain, create website, create database, upload files, install SSL, Connect Domain DNS, A Record, VPS IP. For apps, Node.js, Python, PHP, upload your app. Install required packages. Run using Systemd or PM2. Connect Domain. Set up Reverse Proxy. Your website slash app will now run from your VPS instead of shared hosting. 9. Securing your VPS Security is very important. Run these steps. Change SSH port. nano slash etc slash SSH slash SSHD underscore config. Change 22 anything else. Then restart SSH. Install Fail to Ban protects from brute force. apt install fail to ban dash y. Enable firewall UFW allow 80 UFW allow 443 UFW allow 22 UFW enable. Now your VPS is secure. 10. Monitoring CPU, RAM, and Traffic Hostinger gives built-in monitoring CPU usage, RAM usage, disk usage, network usage Inside Cyber Panel or AA Panel See Live Resource Usage Restart Services Clear Cache Fix High Load If your CPU hits 100% regularly Time to upgrade plan. 11. Backups and snapshots, 1800 to 1900. Backups are super important. Hosting our allows automated backups, on demand snapshots, full server restore. Always keep at least one weekly snapshot, one monthly backup. Never run a business website without backups. 12. When should you upgrade VPS? Upgrade if you notice slow website, CPU always high, RAM always full, app crashing, more visitors coming, running multiple apps. VPS upgrades take 30 to 60 seconds and don't delete anything. 
Before we wrap up this tutorial, let's talk about something most beginners forget. Long-term VPS maintenance. Setting up a VPS is just the first step, but keeping it fast, secure, and stable is what truly matters over time. If you're running a website or app that will grow in traffic, you should check your server at least once a week. Look at your CPU, RAM, and disk usage to make sure the server isn't overloaded. A VPS that constantly hits 100% CPU will feel slow, fail to load pages, and eventually crash during peak hours. Regular monitoring helps you catch problems early. You should also keep your VPS updated. Hostinger makes this easy, but you can manually update your server with a simple command. Updates protect your system from vulnerabilities and improve performance. If you're running a control panel like Cyber Panel or AA Panel, make sure those panels are also updated regularly. Newer versions usually come with security fixes, new features, and better stability. Finally, always keep backups outside your server. If anything ever goes wrong, corrupted files, hacking attempts, accidental deletion, having a backup means you can restore everything in minutes. Most beginners ignore backups until something breaks, but professionals always stay prepared. Doing these small things will keep your VPS running smoothly for months or even years, and it ensures your website or app stays online without issues. And that's it. You've now learned how to buy, set up, secure, and manage a hosting or VPS in 2025, even if you're a complete beginner. If this tutorial helped you, make sure to like the video, comment your questions, subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching and good luck with your website or app.